be brave and may we be ready to help others who are scared or in need. Amen. Hi friends, in today's gospel, Jesus did something very special and how he reached out to Peter to help him when he was afraid. Let's listen to the gospel according to St. Matthew. A reading from the good news given to us by St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Then Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side of the lake. While he sent the people away, after sending the people away, he went up a hill by himself to pray. When evening came, Jesus was there alone, and by this time the boat was far out in the lake, tossed about by the waves, because the wind was blowing against it. Between three and six o'clock in the morning, Jesus came to the disciples, walking on the water. When they saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and screamed with fear. Jesus spoke to them at once. Courage, he said. It is I. Don't be afraid. Then Peter spoke up. Lord, if it is really you, order me to come out on the water to you. Come, answered Jesus. So Peter got out of the boat and started walking on the water to Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he was afraid and started to sink down in the water. Save me, Lord, he cried. At once, Jesus reached out and grabbed hold of him and said, How little faith you have! Why did you doubt? They both got into the boat and the wind died down. Then the disciples in the boat worshipped Jesus. Truly, you are the Son of God, they exclaimed. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be, be to, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. See what 
Jesus did? Jesus reached out his hand and helped Peter back on the boat. It, it can sometimes be hard to believe that we can do something difficult. Just like Peter, we might get scared, but God is there to help us to do things that we might think are impossible. We cannot walk on water, but we can be scared when we learn when we're learning skill or standing up to someone who's being mean. We might feel frightened when we or someone we love is ill. Well, there are many times in life when we might be afraid, but we do not need to worry alone. We can share it to a grown-up like mom, dad, teacher or any other family members. When we are frightened or worried, and just like Jesus held out his hand to Peter in the Gospel reading, God is always with us to help us through difficult times. Believing and trusting in God helps us to get through the hard times, but we also need to hold out our hands to others to help them when they are scared or feeling or finding, dif finding things difficult. Jesus asks us to care for one another to hold out our hands and help each other, to help those who are poor, who are sick, who are lonely, who are frightened, anyone who is finding things hard, no matter who they are or where they come from. Let's bring that act of kindness out of us as Jesus did. <laughs> Oh, 